Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I am at the all new Homes Volvo Cars here in Shreveport, Louisiana. They just moved into their brand new building. It just opened up and today is going to be my first video here at the new location in Shreveport, Louisiana in the Auto Mall. And today we're going to take a look at the 2021 Volvo XC40 all wheel drive T5 R design. We're going to take a look at the exterior and the interior on this particular model. Take a look under the hood and do a quick interior tour before hopping out on the road for a quick test drive. And I'll list the colors on the screen as far as the exterior color. And I must say, I like the contrast that you find on this particular model. You've got the black mirrors, the black roof here, and of course, just real quick, I'll show you a quick look into the interior here. You of course have the panoramic sunroof. We'll get a better look at that in just a minute when we hop into the interior. You'll find that it has LED headlights and LED fog lights, but these headlights actually will corner with you. So when you turn the steering wheel, the headlights actually point in that direction. Obviously we can't show that right now, but I guarantee you I will do that in the very near future. And one thing I like about what Volvo has done, when you take a look at the front grille, you know it's a Volvo. They've really kind of maintained that classic Volvo grille and the logo. They haven't really changed that a lot. I think that says a lot for these vehicles. So when you see it from a distance, you know it's a Volvo. And before we talk about the actual numbers here, I want to show you something. And I know for a lot of people, they might say, I'll never open the hood on my XC40. But if you ever want to, I like the fact that you have the hood release right here. It's yellow. It's easy to find. Very well marked. I like that. And here is what motivates this model to get down the road. The two liter four cylinder. It's putting out 248 horsepower and the torque numbers come in at 258 pound feet. The power is put through an eight speed automatic transmission and of course finds its way to the ground through the all wheel drive system. And here is the remote. You'll notice that the buttons are on the very side of this remote for the XC40, which by the way is a subcompact and you'll notice that, of course, when you hit the lock button, the power folding side view mirrors will automatically fold in a little bit at least. And of course, you do have the turn signal indicators built in. And speaking of such things, this is probably a good time to put up a partial list of the safety features that you can find available on this model. And if you want to see the full list, check out the link in the description to the Homes Volvo Cars website for this very XC40 that we're looking at today. And as we begin to work our way towards the rear, we're going to take our first close up look at the interior. But I did want to show you some of the features here as far as lines and an up close look at the exterior colors. Of course, you have the rear roof spoiler here meant to channel air over the rear window to help keep that as clean as possible when you're driving down the road. But of course, you have that rear window wiper if you need it. And that classic look that is very, very eye catching, at least in my personal opinion, with the rear tail lights on the XC40. And if you have a handful of groceries, two hands full of groceries or whatever you may be hauling, here's what you have to help with that. Let's see if I did that correctly. And I did, thankfully, the hands free option for opening your power rear lift gate. And I'll put the cargo numbers on the screen as far as your cargo space goes. You can maximize that by lowering those rear seats if you want to. And as you can see, you also have a pass through right here. Let's see if I can open that. And basically what it amounts to is you have to fold down the armrest with the cup holders built into it right there. But just kind of show you what you have right there. Here is what we have as far as space under the floor. So you've got a different options here as far as what you can do, whether you put something up here, you could actually store things underneath as well, depending on what your situation and needs are. And of course, you do have the buttons up here on the tailgate to close that or close it and lock the interior at the same time if you so desire to. Multiple options for closing that power rear lift gate. A very nice, convenient feature. And before we hop into the back seat and take a look around, 
here is what your door bins look like. It doesn't look as deep from this angle as it actually is. There is a lot of space there. And of course, a reasonable amount of space here in the back seat. And you're going to find, of course, you've got the dual air conditioning vents. As you can see, let's see if we can get you a good view down there. I don't know how well you can see that. Just hard to get the camera with the gimbal on it down there. But these rear seats are also heated. We'd like to see that be heated and cooled, especially down here in Louisiana. But it is what it is. So a very nice option either way. And another look here. I accidentally had something in the way earlier. There's a better look for you at that armrest and the cup holders. And of course, the panoramic sunroof. A very nice view. I know we don't have the best view out of the sunroof right now, but kind of give you an idea of what you have before we hop into the front seat. And giving fair time to the front door here on the passenger side. And as you can see, a much larger door bin right here. A lot of space. Like I said, that is very deep in there. Let's see if we can give you a good view of how deep that really is. And a very nice interior here. This is actually classified as a luxury subcompact SUV. Seating is very comfortable. I do like the contrast stitching and I always like to show the storage space that you have available. So there is a look at the glove box and the driver's side door, basically the same as what you had on the passenger side with some additions such as two settings for seat memory. Of course, you can adjust your mirrors. And by the way, the front driver and passenger seats, of course, are power. And from the driver's perspective, of course, here is the 12.3 inch driver's display, also known as the dashboard. But Volvo calls that the driver's display. And it is a very nice display. Of course, you've got your steering wheel mounted controls here, cruise control, and all of your different buttons that allow you to surf through the features and the functionality on the dashboard or the driver's display, whichever you want to call that. And just to give you a quick look at the steering wheel itself, you have the nine inch screen, the infotainment screen, quite a few options here. Of course, this is how you're going to turn on the heated seats or the heated steering wheel, depending on what you want to do. Don't really need either one of those right now here in Northwest Louisiana. As you can see right here, there is the temperature on the dashboard right there. It is a little bit on the warm side. It's not actually 83 degrees. It's probably about 68 but still rather warm for January the 4th. And you will have features such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you want to control your air conditioning here, all you're going to do is push that button right there or touch the screen, I should say. It's not really a button, is it? Giving the YouTube correction Nazis some ammunition to use against me right now, but all kidding aside, that is how you control everything with the air conditioning. Of course, if you want to use the defroster in the front or the rear, of course, that's where that is going to be found. A lot of people talk about how difficult this system is to use. I don't think it's that bad. Once you get used to it, it's not that terribly hard. Now, let me turn the fan speed down just a little bit so that we don't hurt our audio here. But as you can see, of course, you've got dual zone climate control on the driver and passenger side here in the front. And of course, all of your controls here for the radio. And if you need to get back to the main screen, that's all you're going to do is push that there. And you have the two USB ports in the rear and two more here in the front. Also a 12 volt power outlet. And one thing I didn't show. And of course, use wisdom in what you do here. But right here are slots for business cards. Technically, you could put credit cards or debit cards there. I don't know that I would do that, but that is available and the right size for that. And even though I probably have no chance of showing you with this camera, there's another slot right under here where you can put things such as that as well. And the shifter here, very easy to use, of course. We'll just show you how that works. To go back into park, of course, you're gonna hit the button right there. And of course, everything pretty simple and self-explanatory to use here, your power parking brake, and of course, your cup holders right there. Now, let me show you one thing here that I would call a multitasker. Of course, here is your console. We'll give you a quick look at that. But if you wonder what this is right here, that is actually removable. That's actually meant to be a trash can. But 
you could use that as a multitasker and well whatever you want to fit in there I guess you could fit in there depending on what you are going to use it for but obviously besides taking a look around the interior I'm sure you're wanting to know how exactly this model handles out on the road let's get out and find out one more thing I wanted to show you that I really like here in the XC40 is the backup camera of course all vehicles in the US are going to have these and we're required to by the year 2020 so you won't pick up a vehicle without that but obviously you can see a lot of the different features you can select down here but I liked the fact that if you need to zoom in on something you can do that it's that easy just seeing what's behind you might make it a little bit easier just a feature that I personally like a lot about this XC40 okay we're gonna hop out on the road here for a quick test drive with the XC40 and being an all-wheel drive model definitely has a lot of benefits not only with the feeling of acceleration and even though 248 horsepower is definitely not plant you in the seat acceleration or horsepower I should say it won't accelerate like you have a high amount of horsepower but with the all-wheel drive system just the way the vehicle accelerates down the road actually does make it quite enjoyable to drop the hammer so to speak and I know not everybody that that's their cup of tea of course but for me being a high performance enthusiast and especially reviewing these vehicles well, I want to cover as much as I possibly can and that includes well how well does a vehicle accelerate but beyond just something as simple as acceleration you have the true safety aspects of all-wheel drive which is stability and traction of course when you're in a situation where maybe you live somewhere where it snows a lot if you put snow tires on a vehicle that's front wheel drive or rear wheel drive yeah it's it's gonna help when it comes to driving on snow snowy roads or icy roads or whatever you may be on but with all-wheel drive you put snow tires on all four corners that's going to make a huge difference and honestly it'd be really cool to have that experience one day I don't know if I can ever pull that off it won't be around here most likely uh, if it snowed around here I'm not getting out on the roads even though I have experience driving on snow and ice uh, but because so many people do not have that experience in this part of the country uh, northwest Louisiana yeah I think I'll, I'll avoid that around here but it's just the stability you can go through we're coming up on my favorite corner to test the cornering ability of a vehicle and I know people don't buy XC40s to know how well they handle but it'll hold this corner no problem I already know that because I've driven these through here before but just the overall comfort when you have a subcompact SUV like this XC40 well they're known for having a bit of a choppy ride a bit of a rough rigid ride but that is definitely not the case here and here we go through the corner you can hear all my stuff in the back seat sliding around but boy I tell you what almost 65 miles I actually accelerated to 67 coming out of the corner right there boy it stuck great no problem and the comfort is just impressive to me the steering wheel is very comfortable of course as I showed you earlier this is a heated steering wheel leather wrapped so ultra comfortable nice and responsive to the touch everything's easy to get to and of course you have all the interesting little nooks and crannies and places where you can store things and you've got the little multitasker trash can right there or whatever you want to call that you can use that for a few different things depending on what you want to do you can use it for its intended purpose or for many other things that just make it easy just to reach right down in there almost a trap door effect uh, depending on what you want to do with with that in fact tell me down in the comments if you own one of these models that has the trash can right there what do you do with it do you use it for its intended purpose or have you found an alternative I bet some of you are creative enough to have done that and I'd like to know exactly what that is and of course you have the luxuries the amenities that come with this model it is considered a luxury subcompact SUV and obviously one of those things that I'm taking full advantage of today is the fact that it has the panoramic sunroof so that's why we're giving you the view that we are in the video and I'm just gonna accelerate a little bit here and let's see 60 miles an hour right there I don't know exactly I don't know six seconds five seconds I'm not sure how long that was but I don't know what the zero to 60 is offhand I'll put that on the screen uh, but it's not gonna be ultra impressive I don't think but 
but still, it's nice to know with the eight-speed transmission and all-wheel drive, you're not gonna have any trouble getting down the road, getting up to speed uh, on the interstate or when you're merging into fast-moving traffic. And of course, you have the benefit of great visibility. But on top of that, of course, you've got the multiple views with the backup camera that we looked at earlier. You've got the safety features to help you out, uh, driving aids. Definitely no shortage in that area. And just so many great features here that honestly, I don't have time to mention each and every one. I try and just kind of give a brief synopsis and cover what seem to be the best. In fact, speaking of that, tell me what you want to see me focus on the most in these videos, and I will definitely make that happen. But I have to give high marks for this Volvo. It's fun to drive, it drives well, it rides well, and the fact that it rides as comfortably and smoothly as it does, that makes a really big difference. Going around a cyclist here, so hope everybody can see that on the video. I didn't just unnecessarily go over the center line right there, but you know, it's just such a nice vehicle. No wonder these Volvo SUVs are so popular. They just have a really good balance of a decent amount of horsepower in this model, great technology, nice features, and it's overall, it's comfortable, it's very user-friendly, very practical as a daily driver, obviously. Not a problem, and of course, you know, you've got the higher models, the higher trim levels, the XC90s that have three rows. If you need a three-row SUV, that's available as well. In fact, I'll remember to link down in the description a video that I did at the Volvo dealership here in Shreveport at Homes Volvo Cars where I compared basically every trim level they had on the lot that particular day. So if you want to check that out, it'll be down in the description of the video. Of course, got to say thanks to my friends at Homes Volvo Cars for loaning me this XC40 for the day. I've enjoyed my time with it and I hope you have enjoyed the video. I always appreciate each and every one of you who are kind enough to take the time to watch my videos. And of course, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.